Yo, what's good, y'all? I'm fresh today, y'all can't tell me otherwise. I've been helping my wife a lot. She does photography. I've been setting up her backdrop and setting up her lighting, and I've been looking like, damn, this will look really good in the music video. And it just sparked the idea to bring back music video lighting setups, man. Some cool stuff you can do right in your crib. I'm in my garage right now, so if the audio's trash at all, that's why I was gonna talk over this later, but I'm just like, let me do it right now to make it easier, make the video faster. Um, but yeah, in this video, I wanna show you a couple different lighting setups using paper backdrops, how you can use complementary colors, and also some posing techniques that you can do with the artists if you do get them in a situation similar to this. Talk about the lighting, where the lighting's placed. And I think this is dope because like I said, this is at my house. I'm not in a studio. I'm not in something that costs a lot of money. You pay one time for this backdrop and you can use it forever for photos, videos, all that good stuff like that. So this is gonna be setup number one. Let's talk about the equipment first and foremost. The key light we're using to light this setup is gonna be the Aperture 300X. And on that, I have the Light Dome Mark II. Gives me a nice, really soft look for the lighting on this. I like this a lot. And I like this setup too, because it's a lot different than something that I would naturally gravitate towards. I tend to do very dramatic, contrasty, shadowy setups, and I plan to do that with the next one. If I turn on my autofocus, you can see in my glasses right there, we got those garage lights just popping through. And I don't even necessarily want that, but I just don't even feel like blocking out this light is just gonna take too much time. So I'm dealing with that, that spill a little bit, and it's cool, but it's making me shift my white balance and camera a little bit because the mixing of tones is just not working well with this look. So that's the key light. I got that placed around 45 degrees to my face, and this is just giving me some nice Rembrandt lighting. If I turn my key light on and off, you'll see the difference that it's doing, but you can also see this additional spill uh, that's going on down here at the bottom of the frame. That actually isn't my hair light doing that at all. And I'll show that to you in a second here, but you turn the key light on, you can see that's doing a massive difference. And it's also lighting up the background a significant amount as well, because I'm just so close to this backdrop. And I'm also using a 24 millimeter, which is not gonna give me any background compression. So I gotta pull the camera and myself as close to the background as possible. But I like it. I like the spill that it's given to the, uh, to the backdrop. And that's one of the reasons why I did not put a grid on the key light because I like it. I think it's lighting the background up a really nice way. Now for the hair light, we're using one of the Nan Light Pavo Tube 30Cs. I have that boomed up above me using the Junior Boom arm. Just boom, literally right over top of my head. And you can see it's giving me some nice hair light, some nice light over here on my shoulders. And that's just helping me pop off the background. If I turn that off and on, you can see what that's doing for the shot. Off, looks good, but I'm just not popping off the background. I don't have that separation. Then when we turn it on, it's just that nice soft light that's just helping me separate from the background. And if you, you can also see that it's not really doing much to the background. And the reason why is because I have a grid on it. I have one of the egg crate grids from then like on the Pavo tube up above me and that's just to keep it from spilling on the backdrop. So that's that, man. I wanna talk about some, some styling and some posing techniques that I would do for the artist. First and foremost, I think the most important styling tip that you can do for any scene that you do is choosing complementary colors. Also contrasting colors as well. I don't know if this would be considered contrasting or complementary, <laughs> but it's a little bit of both. I chose this coat on purpose. You can see that this just pops off of this background really nice. And it's also just complementing the look of the scene. So, you know, I think wardrobe is probably the most important thing when it comes to style. And if I had an artist, I would definitely tell them to wear something warm, um, you know, tan. But when it comes to like posing for this, I would probably pose my artist this way. And the reason why I got these shades on, um, you can see the scene looks good without them, but just that, that touch of reflection just adds so much to the scene. And I feel like, a musician or artist would probably already be wearing shades, so I just kind of wanted to simulate what that would look like. But I would basically have them turn their body and look into the camera this way. I think that this pose right here just looks so much more pleasing than just straight on into the camera. Like this just gives, like I'm in an interview vibe, but this right here just feels like I'm a musician and I'm about to kill it. You know, I'm about to say my, my, uh, my lyrics, I'm about to be performing to the camera, I'm about to be doing my thing. And then, you know, that little bit of hand movement that they're gonna be giving it to the camera is also gonna give you a different um, source of energy as well. So 
this is the next lighting setup. As you can see, this is a lot more moody than the first setup we had <laughs> with the pink. For the lighting, this lighting is actually super simple. It's just more about the directions of the light and actually controlling and flagging off the light in certain places, even though I didn't even necessarily use a flag. First light I wanna talk about is this Pavo tube over here. And the reason I'm sitting this way is because if I look straight into the camera, like I'm straight on, you can see this light setup doesn't have the same effect. I just look dark, but if I turn my body to the side and look into the camera like that, you can see the light is just hitting me in a lot more of a cinematic way. It just, it looks better. Like if I had the artist performing, I would definitely have them performing like this to the camera or even just the side profile again. But for this light right here, I guess I'll call this the key light. This is more just a kicker light. This is the Pavo 2 30C. Both of these lights are Pavo 2 30Cs. I just have this one placed like straight uh, to the side of me. So if I was looking straight into the camera, it would just be off to the right of me. And this is kind of like even behind me. I, like this is like behind my head. Like if I look into the camera this way, this light is like slightly behind my head. And this is why you can see it's not reaching this side of my face pretty much at all. So much just like a side light. So if I turn my head that way, you can see it just looks a lot better. It's just highlighting this side of my face. And I like it because this side of my face is more shadowed and it's just, it just looks cooler. And on this, I got a grid to control the spill. I don't want this to spill to the background. If I turn this key light off or this kicker light off, you can see it doesn't hit the background at all. Like it's not even touching the background at all. We turn it back on, it's just hitting me. So for the background light, um, this is also a Pavo 230C and this is boomed up above me. And uh, this is also at a weird angle as well. It's almost like a, <laughs> it's like this. <laughs> this is the easiest way I can show you I use my arm. But um, the reason I did it that way is because it's giving the background a cool like shape. It's, it's, uh, it's so hard to look at this and, and do this. <laughs> it's coming down like that, you know what I mean? It's almost like a slant, right? And this is because I have it mounted in a weird way. Now for this, I also have an egg crate grid on this as well. And this is just to control the spill. I wanted the slightest bit of light to get on me. So like this is giving me the slightest bit of light on this dark side of my face. If I turn it off, you can see it's basically not even hitting me. It's just the slightest bit of light. It's bringing in a little bit of highlights right here on this side of my face. And it's just bringing it in a little bit. And I wanted that. I didn't want to have my face completely shadowed, even though it looks cool like that. Like this is cool, it's just kind of mysterious, but I wanted to have it more so in the background. So this is above my head and it's closer to the background than it is to me. And it's just spilling a little bit of light on me. This is the last and final setup. I don't even want to say this is whack, but this is this is the setup that's too easy to do. This is like almost the one you instantly think about when you got shades and you got tube lights, just to see it reflecting through the glasses. I just got these literally like adjacent with the camera and I got them in like a, a arrow shape. So it's like an arrow pointing up. And these are fairly the same in terms of intensity. If I turn one off, you can see what it does. But uh, this is a super simple setup, man. The focal point of this shot would probably be a close up. You would get that cool little light reflection in the glasses. And this would be that, and that's what it is, man. So if y'all enjoyed this, make sure to drop it a like, head down to the comment section, let me know what was your favorite lighting setup. I would love to know. I think mine would probably be maybe the pink one. I think it's so different from what I usually do. I, I, I liked it a lot. I also really enjoyed the dark one too. I don't know, it's the top between those. Definitely not this one, but. This one's cool too, you know? But yeah, let me know down in the comment section. I would love to know. If y'all enjoyed this video, make sure to drop it a like. If you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it. But with that being said, I'm out y'all. Peace.